Okay, let's roll. Right. So, uh, just as an introduction, uh, yeah, so for anyone that missed it, I'm Kieran. Uh, this is Paul here. Um, yeah, and there's Tom on the other end of the stream. Um, so I'm, I'm one of the main developers of uh, Mural. Paul is our designer and Tom uh, is the other developer. Um, so yeah, Mural is uh, an unstoppable digital collaborative mural canvas wall kind of thing that anyone can uh, draw on anywhere in the world without restriction. Um, so it kind of has that whole kind of blockchain ethos behind it. Um, fits with the whole narrative of you know like complete neutrality, no censorship or filters. It's like a place for kind of real freedom of speech. Um, so yeah, what you can see here is uh, the website that we've been working on that interacts with the uh, smart contracts that we've been working on. Um, so yeah, we have a few parts. Um, so yeah, the part that the artists that are going to use will be the editor here. Um, oh, actually, I wanted to do it in Chrome. <laughs> here we go. So, um, what you can see here is the current state of Mural. Um, so, let's say, well, yeah, so we, we've got like all of these kind of drawing tools here, your usual kind of pen and uh, the eraser here. Oh, so yeah, when, when you draw here in pen, because it's a, um, a vector, it needs to be rasterized and then you can rub it out. Um, and so yeah, we've got like layers here, so you can kind of draw just like you would kind of on, yeah, it's like a Photoshop alike, but on, uh, on a website. Um, and we also have the ability to import uh, images so if you wanted to open a file that you've done, because yeah, we never really thought that we'd uh, match the capabilities of Photoshop itself. Um, yeah, so let's say you wanted to draw the cool tiger here. Uh, so yeah, we have a few restrictions mostly for like trying to get the most out of the transactions on uh, Ethereum. So it has to be 256 colors max. So we have a, a thing here to just uh, convert the image to 256 colors. And as you can see, uh, there's barely any difference. You can uh, really get a, a lot of uh, flexibility out of 256 colors. Um, and yeah, it's so if you wanted to draw it in that exact place, so how would uh, <coughs> you have to allow how, how you would move that around and stuff? Ah, uh, yeah, so. okay. I'll show you how to move it. Yeah, so if you wanted to kind of move it around and resize, you can. So oh, if, yes, you wanted, yeah. if you wanted to position it in a like different re relative spot, yeah. to like another piece of artwork on yeah. the oh. Oh. on the canvas. <laughs> yeah, can see that. Oh, you can. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is super sensitive. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm gonna stick that back at zero zero. Hopefully. Oh wait. There's a reset button. There you go. Uh, yeah. So you can select which layer you want to do here. Uh, so yeah, if you wanted to do it relative to say, you know, like uh, you're gonna have this guy eating Marty's hand here, for instance. <laughs> um, and then. Uh, oh yeah. So you saw the little thing pop up here that uh, you have to obviously allow the smart contract to spend your paint. Oh, if it will allow. Of course this would uh, happen in live, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure why the confirmed things greyed out. <coughs> right. Maybe fast. Oh, I know where it is. This, this, uh, 
this wallet doesn't have any pain, uh, any Ethereum in it. <laughs> All right, one second. I should have made sure that there's <laughs> Ethereum in the wallet. Right. Ascended some Ethereum now. Yeah, that was a rookie mistake. Okay, uh, I guess in the meantime, yeah, I'll just show you a few more of the tools here. Um, so yeah, we've got the usual kind of uh, paintbrush and uh, pencil. We've got the eyedropper to pick the colors around the thing. Um, we have a rasterization tool if you've got a vector thing that you wanted to turn into pixels because yeah, uh, it has to use the, uh, when, it, when it converts it to the uh, the transaction data on mural it needs to be in uh, pixel format we have uh, text here if you wanted to add text um, so yeah the usual kind of simple uh, this is more like paint, image. yeah it's, it's paint, a little more paint than photoshop but yeah you can do simple kind of straightforward things yeah Okay, let's uh, let's just double check that this has actually got some Ethereum in it now. Yes. Okay. Good. Right. So, <coughs> I I got to have a like user question. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, like you're showing here. Yeah. You, you've got the when you, when you've rasterized it. Yeah. You've still got your original. Ah, uh, yeah. There. So uh, yeah, the the reason that we went with the uh, like kind of creating a duplicate when you uh, create the two hundred fifty six color version is because uh, you might not like the look of uh, how it came out with the two hundred fifty six colors. It might not be as you expected. So we didn't want to kind of destroy the original, uh, so that you can kind of compare between this one with uh, you know the full range of colors and this one with the 256 colors and if yeah you know if it meets your expectations then obviously that's good and if not you know you can just remove the layer and uh, you know like maybe tweak the settings because we've got like a few different uh, modes for converting to 256 color um, but but yeah personally I like these two settings here they work quite well um, so yeah and he's gonna eat his hand. He's then, gonna eat his hand. Okay. And so the the when you're uploading, you know, creating the transaction, it's it's only the selected layer. That it's yeah. So yeah, when you when you uh, click on the button to kind of paint on mural, it's the one uh, that you have kind of selected in the layers list that will uh, be the one that is uploaded. There we go. Success, right now we can draw. So, if you select it again, you'll get a little dialog that pops up. Um, ah, okay, so this image is ever so slightly too large to go in a single transaction. Um, so, there is a few things that we can do. We have an easy way to split the image, like you know, like if you wanted to kind of you know divide it into two um, things. You can uh, so yeah, like uh, one row, two columns, and that would divide the image like directly into two sections, and and you could kind of split it into like two separate things. Or obviously, if you make the image a bit smaller, um, it should be able to go in a single transaction. Let's try that. Still slightly too large, so. A little bit smaller still and so this one is okay so let's call this tiger uh, so yeah we have a few uh, pieces of metadata here uh, yeah so you've got your name which is up to 32 characters um, and you have a optional number in series ID so like if uh, you went through what I said before about dividing the thing you can kind of uh, have a, a series ID that you assign yourself you, ju you just give it an arbitrary number and you assign the both pieces of the uh, uh, image with that uh, series ID and you just kind of give it you know like one of two and two of two kind of thing um, so yeah this is going to be one of one 
uh, series one, you know, like if you've got like a few images that you've done, you can, you know, change the series ID to something else. Uh, so let's go draw. So obviously this yeah this is uh, test net gas price is quite low um, I think it was thirty five a different time so yeah um, obviously yeah this is quite expensive because uh, this data is going onto the yeah the blockchain itself like yeah so we we went with uh, pushing the the image data itself onto the Ethereum event log uh, data which is yeah part of the network but kind of separated from contract storage um, because yeah a it's the cheapest b uh, it's immutable so um, yeah even if you found some way to alter the uh, uh, storage you yeah you, you wouldn't be able to do it with the event storage because yeah uh, they're literally you know like fire and there it is uh, it's yeah every single node has event storage it's just as distributed as uh, yeah the contract storage um, and yeah it's the cheapest way so it's gonna save you money and you'll get the kind of most out of it for the most you know amount of pixels in a transaction ah right so now that's going through I'm gonna switch over we have uh, the other one here oh wait Oh, that one. That's the one. Yeah. So if I go live, hopefully I'm going to catch it. <laughs> uh, ah. So that went. Uh, and in here, did it? Oh, it didn't go live. Ah, oh, went live in this one. <laughs> Got too many windows open. <laughs> too confusing. there's that one. Oh, yeah, so you get the new drone Tiger Series 1 of 1 and hopefully in the other one if it's loaded yet. No, it hasn't yet. It's taking its time. Uh, okay, try refreshing it. <laughs> oh, it's struggling. Probably because we're uh, streaming that's kind of putting strain on the network. But uh, yeah, usually if you were looking at the live, uh, oh, it's not responding now. Uh, yeah, I think that's testament to um, the Microsoft browser. <laughs> 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 right, so that will eventually load. Oh, right, okay, in the meantime. Uh, right, so yeah. That image has gone through, and yeah, so now, uh, yeah, we've got kind of a combination of things here. So, the uh, the image data itself is on the Ethereum logs storage, and we have the metadata of the image on the Ethereum smart contract. So, yeah, that, uh, the process of drawing that onto Ethereum creates an NFT, uh, which you will have in your uh, wallet now. Yeah. So, if we look here, yeah, there it is. So this is the 50th thing that's been drawn on the mural here. Um, and yeah, this this is the, yeah, the image. And so yeah, you can see the color palette here that it's got. So that's 256 colors. So uh, this is it kind of in position on mural. And yeah, that's the cropped thing. Um, oh yeah, well actually one thing that I wanted to mention uh, was kind of uh, how we managed to kind of fit so much data in so yeah we've kind of tried to be smart about um, how to reduce the uh, the amount of data while keeping things kind of colorful and uh, having the most amount of pixels because obviously yeah uh, ethereum contract storage is expensive very expensive to uh, push data onto, so you have to yeah squeeze the most out of uh, your transactions. So uh, kind of under the hood in uh, Ethereum 
then like the EVM, it's all 32 bytes. So um, the way that we do it is we, we have the color index of 256 colors and uh, they're just, uh, yeah, kind of, uh, the data is actually just kind of references to which color at, at a single point. Um, and so every single one, so yeah, we, we've, the reason we've got this grid is that uh, 200, uh, yeah, there's a, sorry, 32 pixels wide, this thing is, oh, actually, let's turn off that anti alias and if we, if we zoom in, <coughs> so if we wanted to kind of give a little uh, strip of uh, thing on his wrist here, so that, yeah, this is 32 pixels wide. Um, so yeah, we can fit 32 pixels in a single piece of data to be sent to uh, Ethereum. Uh, yeah, so this yeah this this grid here is 32 by 32. So the way that we is yeah we're kind of reducing the amount of data that we push to Ethereum uh, by only sending uh, those chunks of data and what group it belongs to on the screen. So every, every single 32 pixel grid piece here is a group and it's assigned a number from like the top, so the very corner. Um, so yeah, with this approach it's kind of yeah complex but uh, it's allowed us to kind of get the most out of the data. It, it, and obviously it is possible to draw uh, arbitrary shapes because uh, yeah, the way that we do it is uh, we, we, we kind of allow for single pixels too um, and it, if the thing is up to 8 pixels it will send the pixel colour and its position on the screen instead but that yeah if there's more than uh, Eight pixels. It will kind of assign it to the group, and you can kind of uh, say if it has transparency or not. Like in fact, if I turn off the transparency here, you'll see a little representation of what the data kind of looks like. Oh, <laughs> not very pretty that one. Ah, oh. uh. oh, that's a bit weird. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, actually, let's choose another image so you can kind of see better. Like if I chose this Final Fantasy one here, uh, let's zoom that out. Um, yeah, just to kind of see how oh, how it looks without the transparency. If I did that, so you can see kind of this this would be what uh, the blockchain sees it was like kind of all of these are kind of 32 pixel blocks and we just say you know part of this is actually transparent data and we uh, we don't include the transparent data in terms of the paint that's charged but it is actually sending uh, those uh, pixels to the blockchain uh, we just kind of process those on the blockchain and uh, don't charge you uh, the paint for those transparent pixels. So yeah, if, if I take that back, you'll see. Uh, yeah, so that's how it would obviously look properly. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can see, yeah, it doesn't have to be kind of like a square, you know, shape. Uh, that's like exactly in the the uh, in the 32 byte group, 32 pixel group. Uh, it can be just like any shape. Like yeah, so I, let's say you wanted to add that little bit of pink on his watch. You know, you could send that. So let's call that yeah, pink watch. This is going to be tiny. This one. Yeah, 147 pixels. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, I didn't tick the transparency. I think it's going to send. Uh, I'm going to have to cancel that and tick back the transparency. If it will allow, right, I'll just reject that. Let's tick back that. 
So yeah, uh, as you can see, it doesn't actually send everything. Um, it only sends kind of what you've drawn. So uh, yeah, because obviously technically you're, you're the one that drew this and not kind of all the underlying stuff. Did this load in the end? Oh, that's not oh, this one. Isn't it? It didn't load, did it? <laughs> I, I loaded it on my phone. Okay, right? I wanted to yeah. see. So, like the the minute that I, I actually, yeah, uh, there on <laughs> over five G, it worked fine. Oh, where did? Uh... Oh, I've I've done it on the wrong thing again, haven't I? Oh, it is okay. What I'm going to do, just to show you uh, the live thing working. Uh, yeah, can you put that in the left side and the other one on the right. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh, and where's the MetaMask on now? <laughs> MetaMask. There we go. Did it actually? Is it actually going to load? So if, uh, if I go confirm here, you should see. So yeah, the one on the right is watching the thing live. Oh, and by the way, th so this this uh, browser on the right doesn't have an Ethereum wallet installed. We uh, tried to make it uh, work without the Ethereum, but yeah, not without the need for like MetaMask or whatever. For the, oh, there you go. So it, it's just received the new drawing, and his watch is just updated with that tiny little pink bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's it, it worked. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, basically any anyone, any average Joe with a web browser can go on our website and view the live state of uh, Mural as uh, drawings are done. Um, and also, yeah, we have the, the history viewer here. So um, you can either yeah, choose the history at a point or between a range. So at the moment it's going by like the uh, drawings. Um, so yeah, I'll load the whole history here. It might take a while because it's, yeah, there's 51 individual drawings. So yeah, that's, that's pulling the uh, data from those 51 individual drawings directly from uh, the, yeah, the blockchain, a combination of like the, um, yeah, the smart contract storage and the Ethereum log storage. Um, so yeah, uh, this history part should be able to be accessed by anybody uh, with or without a, a MetaMask or any old Ethereum wallet on their uh, machine. So yeah, the, uh, everything you're gonna, yeah, that you're about to see now is uh, stuff that is kind of pre-drawn already. So yeah, there's, uh, Either, yeah, that's uh, Earthworm Jim image. So yeah, you can see. So this has got 256 colors, quite rich. Um, so yeah. Oh. It's, oh, it's okay. I'm not sure why the the zoom isn't working, but uh, yeah. Uh, you should be. Oh, actually, maybe if I. Oh, there you go. I can actually pinch the screen. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, you can see like if you zoom in you can kind of make out the pixels but zoomed out uh, yeah it's quite good um, and yeah so you can see we've got like all of these other drawings here we've got a nice little kind of glitchy animation uh, yeah so yeah, you can see that uh, I've drawn like a kind of large Back to the Future picture here in several pieces. Oh, the, the little line breaks in the middle is because I made a little uh, 
error with the uh, the calculation between like the <laughs> the sizes, but uh, yeah, that's kind of addressed with this uh, bigger one here with the um, Doc and Marty. Oh yeah, so you can see that last little one here, that tiny little bit there is what we uh, drew, and that uh, big cat one is another one that we drew. Yeah, so you can see that yeah, the glitch animation is struggling a little bit, that's because we're streaming and I'm using the same machine for streaming as uh, as the, the demo itself. Um, but yeah, so all this data here is taken from Ethereum. It's not hosted on like another, you know, like it's not from IPFS or anything like that. Um, we, yeah, we, we are going to have to push uh, someday holding the state changes because uh, yeah we wanted to kind of keep it as normal as possible you can always use to calculate a, a, a point on ethereum uh, on uh, mural even uh you know as more and more drawings happen uh it's gonna get kind of less and less scale so yeah we've uh, got a, a service we're to this for those uh, state changes and kind of keep track of the entire state at a particular point uh, and then this history view is going to kind of use that when it's um, used for uh, playback um, yeah so you can uh, yeah this, this uh, URL we can kind of direct link to you know like a range or if you wanted to look at one particular point say like you wanted to look at the maybe like the fifth point fifth drawing, uh, you can do that too, and it will just show you one point, um, uh, if when it loads. <laughs> so yeah, this is this this one here is the, the, the fifth drawing, fifth point, uh, and obviously, you know, if there's like a ton of things, you, we've got like this uh, little locator there to show you where it is. Um, so yeah, you've got a brief look at the live thing here. So yeah, if you wanted to kind of look at the live state uh, as uh, as a theory, as the mural um, drawings kind of happen, you just select the live thing and it will up current state and any changes that are kind of happening from drawings from anyone around the world on mural, uh, you will get the the update here so it could be you know work well as like a a live wallpaper or something like that yeah might be something that we're going to look into later um, we have a gallery here so any of your drawings or any of your purchased uh, drawings that uh, you know you uh, take from artists that have drawn uh, things on uh, mural uh, so yeah you can Kind of display them for your personal things so yeah you can see so we just drew the tiger and that little pink thing uh so we have like the list of everything and the ones that you want to display you just select what you want to kind of drag onto the display and it'll kind of pop up there and that tiny little thing there um so you can kind of drag them around however you like and change the order if you wanted that little pink thing below the image for whatever reason you could um, but yeah so if you have like a whole bunch of NFTs you'll be able to kind of pick and choose which ones you want to display and arrange them how you like and uh, yeah just have it for your kind of personal display um, trading uh, obviously these are NFTs uh, so they should be uh, able to be traded on any of your usual uh, NFT marketplaces so yeah we'll, we'll just uh, look into sort out the um, the metadata like image stuff uh, so that it will kind of be pulled up on OpenSea because at the moment because everything is on chain uh, OpenSea and most of these other places don't handle that kind of stuff. So we have to create some kind of off-chain solution that will convert the on-chain stuff onto 
uh, like a PNG or something like that um, for OpenSea to kind of view. Uh, the, yeah, the Pixel Chain guys are doing something very similar um, in order for, you know, like OpenSea to kind of see their stuff. So yeah, we, we're having to roll our own similar solution. Um, so yeah, we've got that in the works. Um, and yeah, so here's your uh, kind of state of your account here. So you've got the tiger and the little pink watch thing. So you can view, uh, hopefully you'll be able to sell one day. And uh, yeah, so the, uh, the fill part, uh, obviously, yeah, some people uh, might not be, you know, like 100% uh, satisfied that it's, you know, the image data is on the uh, just the Ethereum logs for whatever reason. In my opinion, it's kind of just as uh, good, if not better, because it's uh, immutable. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we wanted a kind of no compromise solution here in that, you know, like if you really wanted to get inside the, the smart contract storage, you can. Um, so uh, this, yeah, uh, the because the NFT holds a, a hash of the data on uh, the um, Ethereum log storage, uh, we kind of pull that data and you're able to force that data onto the blockchain, like the, the smart contract storage. Um, you, so yeah, uh, it would do it uh, piece by piece or as much as it can, um, the kind of expensive, like hugely more expensive. <laughs> to uh, push all this data onto the contract storage. Obviously, yeah, this one is probably gonna, not gonna be so expensive because it's a very small drawing. Um, but even so, it's not gonna be very cheap either. Um, and so, yeah, if you really wanted it on the smart contract storage, you can use that fill option, which is, yeah, so it's like a, right once fill uh, you push the data in a transaction and it will kind of eat up as much gas as possible using it to kind of uh, write piece by piece uh, until it runs out of gas and then it will kind of fire up another uh, transaction to kind of carry on where it left off uh, so actually yeah I didn't give it enough gas for it to do it in one transaction there so uh, if I put like a, let's make it 5 million or something like that uh, and then so yeah if it's closer to the values that we have on the actual Ethereum mainnet yeah this is how much that we were willing to spend to push this tiny image onto smart contract storage uh, but yeah, so th this should finish the fill, hopefully. Uh, and then once it's done, uh, the page will update and you should see, uh, yeah, this one will be, uh, have the status, yeah, so it's gone into full color here to kind of signify that it's filled and yeah. So this one not only has the image data on the event log storage, it has the uh, image on the smart contract storage as well. So it's kind of almost doubly as uh, distributed. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, as mentioned, uh, yeah, all of the images require paint, uh, which is a fixed supply um, token it just an ERC20 token um, and uh, yeah we've got a proposal for the distribution model of the uh, token so um, we collected a list of 8,824 addresses of uh, known artists on um, rare known origin and uh, async art uh, and we're going to distribute 42.02% of our supply to each and every one of those. So yeah, they're, they're going to get um, enough paint to cover one entire 
uh, covering of uh, the mural canvas um, and then we're going to have another 40% to go to existing NFT holders we don't have a list of addresses uh, but that is something that we're working on to kind of collate uh, with yeah, basically kind of following the kind of wearable approach there um, so yeah uh, basically however many addresses that we can collate of uh, NFT holders we're going to distribute 40% of our paint to uh, those holders 3% um, is going to be uh, used for us founders so yeah three, three people each getting 1% of the total supply and then that leaves uh, yeah 14.98 percent so yeah it's pretty much 15 percent that we're gonna uh, use for uh, kind of competitions events commissions and kind of social stuff and well, general running costs um, and yeah we'll give uh, some of the early adopters I like, uh, believers on our uh, Discord uh, a little something as a thank you, like the, to help kind of get those that kind of helped with the testing of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so I guess uh, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, wrap up the demo there. Um, so yeah, I guess do we, yeah, does anybody have any uh, questions? So uh, yeah, you can have a right on uh, discord i guess or on the little chat here uh, if anyone has any questions and then we'll yeah we'll answer anything anyone has i see a, a, a great thing there thank you So we've got a question about censorship and moderators. Um, so we, uh, yeah, basically we don't have any censorship itself on the kind of history side of things. Obviously, um, yeah. So I mean, uh, we we have like a uh, a disclaimer, legal kind of uh, thing that kind of pops up when you first go to view the history um, to say basically. Uh, you take full responsibility for anything and everything that you see on this because there is no censorship there is a chance that people uh, can kind of draw things that uh, aren't uh, very good but the, and that's kind of the reason for like the fixed supply of paint as well as a kind of uh, quality control mechanism and that you know people who uh, basically don't want to uh well but, you know like if they if they want to draw like a you know a penis or something like that on the <laughs> on the history then uh you know they would be able to but uh you know as as more and more paint uh is used and the supply decreases it should become more expensive and then they're going to think twice before wasting the paint drawing some kind of uh, garbage thing and uh, you know instead they'll sell it to an artist who actually does want to draw something meaningful and uh, you know worthwhile on uh, the uh, on the canvas yeah um, uh, but yeah so I mean well down the line it might get to the point that you know like uh, big, yeah that's the thing because the, the the website itself is just a website the the website could uh, kind of go down we, we yeah we've been looking into hosting like similarly as uh, Uniswap is you know like sticking it on IPFS so that there's kind of, kind of something that's kind of unstoppable we do yeah I actually own uh, an unstoppable domain and I wanted to kind of set up the thing as a uh, an unstoppable website uh, but yeah it could reach the point that you know like our website is kind of get some legal notice or something like that but I guess we'll see if that happens but yeah as it stands there is no censorship or moderation it is what it is 
it's like uh, completely neutral. Yeah, that's that's the other thing, in that um, most of the yeah, one of the kind of main drivers for this, uh, uh, you know, the the whole reason for having this canvas be completely neutral is because there is already uh, kind of heavily moderated uh, places where you can draw. You know, you've got uh, your known or origin, you've got super rare, you've got all of those places, and you know, you have to go through an application process uh, to be able to even think about uh, drawing or you know, producing art on these platforms. Um, and of course, you know, like it has its merits in that you know, that's a quality control mechanism, but at the same time, that's a, a gate to uh, everybody else that you know like you have to be so talented and, and you know you have to be you know bas basically yeah jump through these hoops just to be able to uh, draw it so yeah we wanted to kind of level the playing field and put like a, a place where you don't have to be so yeah talented or so connected uh, to be able to draw that yeah, that we wanted it to kind of be completely neutral, and yeah, therefore anyone and any requirement is paint, and that's it. Um, okay, so from the Discord, uh, when will it start? Uh, when will it be available on mainnet? Um, so, uh, well, basically. Uh, we're hoping to kind of get uh, out there, yeah, as soon as possible. Everything, yeah, when you can see, it's like uh, we've spent loads of time kind of honing the website to be as uh, good as possible. Like, the, yeah, the main thing that's kind of, well, I guess there's two main things that uh, stand in the way. So it's the paint distribution and uh, the uh, image service for like the, the history and like uh, open sea market and stuff. Um, so we're very close to finishing the uh, image service side of things. It, I mean, it, it does function without the image service itself, but it's not kind of scalable long term because of the way that uh, the yeah basically the Ethereum storage is only uh, storing the differences and not like entire states. Um, but yeah, we're we're close to. Uh, Kind of uh, yeah, sticking the solution out there live. Um, uh, the other thing is paint distribution. So uh, yeah, as I mentioned, the uh, there is yet yeah, one hurdle in that like uh, we wanted to kind of distribute the uh, yeah forty percent of the paint to NFT holders. But yeah, we actually need that list. Oh, so yeah, we're, we're kind of looking at uh, ways of collating that. So yeah, actually, if, if anybody has any uh, suggestions or where we can find such a list, because yeah, I know the uh, super rare. Oh, th no, it wasn't super rare. Rareable. They uh, had the Rari token distribution, um, and I was trying to find that list to see uh, if we could just use that, um, but uh, can't find it anywhere. Their website doesn't seem to have any kind of information about that. Um, but it would be a great help if, uh, yeah, if we could find that list. Um, and then, yeah, so, uh, like, yeah, so we've, we've got like the, the list of all the, um, artists It's just that list of, uh, existing NFT holders that we want to kind of distribute the paint to, uh, that kind of stands in the way of that. But yeah, if we, if we can get that list. Uh, then we're going. Then we're going to kind of follow the uh, same kind of thing that Uni Uniswap did with their Uni token, and that like you'll be able to uh, claim uh, a set kind of amount like through a claim process. Like yeah, same kind of thing as the Uni thing. So it's not we're not going to kind of uh, magically distribute and you know like it pop into your Ethereum wallet like other people have done. A that's expensive. B uh, I think yeah there's a chance that you know like some of those wallets might not be uh active anymore um so yeah i don't know yeah we need to kind of weigh up if uh 
we want to put like a time limit on that claim process or because yeah if there's like a bunch of paint that is never going to be able to be claimed then maybe it would be better um to kind of set some kind of time limit uh for the claim process to allow the people to be able to kind of get access to that paint and use it better um okay let's see if there's uh another question okay what's the cost in paint and gas approx to fill the canvas once oh very good question <laughs> uh, <coughs> so oh man one sec <coughs> Coca-Cola advert then, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not actually sure of the cost to um, fill the canvas once, but, so if, if we, actually we can do a little bit of an experimentation here. And so, um, for, yeah, at least from our testing, um, you can, yeah, that, that there's approximately, I think it's like maybe a hundred and, wait, one hundred thousand, wait. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> let me write down, it's, it's like, yeah, some, something like a hundred and ten thousand pixels that you can kind of fit in a, a single transaction. Approximately uh, fill the canvas. If you, yeah, basically, if you divided a kind of large image into, uh, I, th I think it's about yeah, maybe nineteen transactions that you can do to fill. But if you wanted to do it equally, you'd have to do like a, a kind of maybe twenty-one transactions would do it. Like if you could do like split the thing. Uh, into kind of three three, three rows yeah three sevens um, so yeah if I'm gonna open yeah we've got like uh, one here that can fill the canvas so if you let's say you wanted to draw this astro astronaut man on fire here so yeah let's just uh, turn it to 256 first It's quite a large image. <laughs> does does using less than two hundred and fifty six colours get you more mileage out of your uh because there's less data, basically. But it wouldn't be a lot, to be honest. Because yeah, the the way that we've uh done it is uh all the image data including the colour index is pushed to um the Ethereum log storage. So yeah, li literally anything to do with the actual image itself is on the log storage because that's the cheaper option. That's the, the kind of bulk of it. Um, the, the stuff that's kind of on the uh, the smart contract storage is uh, yeah the the hash of the data for the verification. You know the kind of that matches with the Ethereum log storage and um, the the name and the series ID and the um, the, the number associated with the series ID. Um, okay, so let's divide this. So yeah, if it was, actually I think, yeah, one thing I noticed this is the wrong the wrong way round. This is columns and this, the other one is rows. Um, so it would be, yeah, so you can see, right, if, if I, oh, not the color. There we go. So split the image so you can see this section here is kind of the first bit, uh, and then you've got like the next row. Hopefully, oh, that's the last row, and that one. Yeah. So like, let's say just this kind of central bit. Uh, you wanted to write that. So yeah, you can see this is about a hundred thousand pixels, um, two hundred three colors just in this part. Um, so let's do Astron Hot one of one for now. Um, 
Oh, I, actually, I didn't catch how, how much pain that was. But it's one one paint per pixel. Ah, oh, uh, actually, it's half. Yeah, it's a, the the charge is half the paint per pixel, and the so the the dimensions of the uh, the canvas are a thousand and twenty four high by two thousand and forty eight wide, uh, mostly because uh, yeah, that allows us to be able to kind of push uh, the image data onto the uh, the blockchain without actually verifying that it's uh, within the bounds because the amount of pixels is uh, the exact size uh, of oh yeah basically uh, yeah it's divided into those 32 uh, pixel groups and so that means there's 65,536 uh, I think it is uh, groups and that is exactly how many digits you can fit in four bytes two bytes so, actually sorry uh, so, so, the thing, so, the, so it was 1024 by 2048 yeah. which is 2,097,152 yeah. pixels which yeah. would cost you one million. So yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that. That that is how much paint it would cost. Oh, I can't. Yeah, but we've got like a bit of a delay. So I can't. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So I can see it now. So that yeah, that is uh, how much paint it would cost. One so one million forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-six paint to fill. Uh, the canvas, uh, and you can see the. So this is the cost of like just one slice of the image at thirty-five gray. Um, <coughs> so if we actually if we multiply that by twenty-one. So what? What was that? Uh, so do zero point two seven six. Two two seven six. Times that by a twenty-one. It's five point eight. So yeah, five point eight <laughs> Ethereum if you wanted to fill the entire canvas once. Um, which is yeah, that's the thing. If if you want to draw on chain, it's not cheap. <laughs> um, you get what you pay for though, because obviously this storage is you know heavily distributed, cannot be taken down. Um, it's there forever. Uh, well, for as long as the Ethereum blockchain exists, um, and some would argue that you know it's worth every ETH, every GUI. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, I guess yeah. So it's, it's up to artists to decide if uh, yeah if they if they want it. And obviously, the other thing is uh, because of the uh, fixed supply of paint. There is actually only a limited uh, amount of uh, opportunity to be able to draw at all on uh, mural. It's going to reach the point where, uh, yeah, the paint supply becomes low, and you know it's expensive. So uh, you know any NFT that is produced fr from mural in itself will be rare and probably expensive as well if you wanted to sell it because yeah a it's got the on-chain storage and b uh it has the limited supply um so uh yeah do we have any other questions let me just check uh on discord uh, are you going to break ETH by filling up the log storage? Please don't break ETH. <laughs> um, no. Filling up the log storage will not break ETH. Um, they might get a little bit pissed off. <laughs> but I think for our use case, uh, it fits. You know, drawing this stuff produces an event, and the log storage is, yeah there to be used to produce the you know like you you can yeah monitor these events um and i think it's yeah it's a good use of it because the the data itself yeah it, it doesn't matter 
that is not on the smart contract stories because at the end of the day um, yeah the, the things that are going to read it are uh, will have access to the event logs uh, it's just as distributed as yeah the smart contract stories because it's yeah within each node as well um, so yeah it, it might piss them off because technically you know uh, they might see it as a misuse but I don't see it as a misuse um, yeah okay uh, let's see if there's any other questions uh, oh, so I can see Maya mentioned that with the ETH 2.0 it will hopefully get much cheaper um, yeah hopefully it will that's kind of why we went with this approach uh, that kind of doesn't have uh, any arbitrary restrictions on how much you can kind of push we want it to kind of be as future proof as possible so uh, we didn't kind of want to say you can only draw this amount of pixels you can only you know use uh, this amount of paint per transaction or something like that um, we wanted it to kind of be as flexible as possible to kind of be fluid enough to move as Ethereum evolves. Um, so yeah, hopefully when Ethereum 2 comes out, uh, the costs will be uh, less to draw. Um, but yeah, I guess hopefully if, if people do draw on it, they'll be able to make the money back at least when they sell the NFTs or if they decide to sell the NFTs, that is. Um, Okay, so, yeah, are there any more questions? <laughs> I guess we'll take that as a no. Uh, okay, um, I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching the stream. Um, and yeah, I guess if, yeah, if you do have any questions feel free to drop them on the Discord and uh, we'll, yeah, answer any questions there and, yeah, spread the word, get the word out there um, and, yeah, we'll keep you posted with the progress and, yeah, when, once it's released, uh, yeah, we'll let you know. But, yeah, thanks for watching and, yeah, stay tuned.